So this is the Manage Countries screen and it's on this screen that you can specify uh, the locations of customers that you're going to accept orders from. So to begin with you want to go down through this list and you see that the first column is the allowed checkboxes and you just want to go down and make sure that there's a tick in all those countries that you're going to accept orders from. Uh, the billing the billing countries where well, you can def, uh, set to a default normally of course that's going to be the country that you're in but you can change that if you're expecting uh, if you're expecting most people who buy from you to be in a, a different location then you can default that to them and also on the tools options checkout screen uh, you can specify that the cart will allow a different delivery address uh, to the billing address and if you do that then you can also uh, specify the def the default delivery country or region uh, using this checkbox uh, there as well. Um, the use regions checkbox which is in uh, this column here this is particularly important for the USA. Um, the regions of the USA are the states and if you want to set tax by state or if you want to set up shipping by state then make sure you tick the use regions box there and allow some states and you know uh, default the billing address and the, the uh, delivery address countries to uh, the state that you're in normally or whatever state you want that to be and then don't forget to click on save changes at the bottom. Uh, you can you can add uh, regions underneath countries. Uh, in the past this has been useful because you, uh, it's been used to set up uh, shipping methods uh, by regions for example in the UK you can add all the counties uh, as regions then you can do shipping by county but uh, uh, we've actually added uh, postcode based shipping now which is a much better way of doing it so we wouldn't really recommend that you do that anymore uh, but you can do that if you want.